It's like we're modern day Vikings. Everyone likes a good drive wood. Oh, is this a big pirate ship or what? Bring it to the school. And sort of help stuff. Today, we're out in the woods and we are building a bridge over a river. Sorry, we're deconstructing a bridge and then putting up a new one. We've rallied together the redneck friends with the blue collar skills and we've put all of our skills and our knowledge together and we're gonna put up new beams over a river so that we can get to the cabin way out in the woods. Come on, let's get to it. I'm so upset right now. I forgot my drone at home. So I'm way out in the bush. The whole intent is of like taking down a bridge. So you can get a cool drone shot of it. I forgot my drone at home. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I have to make do with other forms of camera equipment that I have. I got a 360 camera with my big long stick and I can kind of make it look like a drone shot. So that's what we're gonna try. One more. Right, see what happens. Oh, that's Oh, is this a big pirate ship or what? Oh, it's a Viking ship. This is way cooler. Are you a Viking? What's your Viking name? Do you have a Viking name? Yes. What is it? Well, that's a pirate name. Everything that's happening behind me right now is everybody and their blue collar skills being put to good use. This is why I like the blue collar world. You have all these skills. Everybody's got the knowledge of how to build stuff and you can make stuff happen. We need a bridge to cross the river. We don't have to go hire someone. Generally, we are the guys you would hire. You know how to build stuff. You're a capable person. You have common sense, all the things. Rally the troops together and you can build cool stuff that you need. So we need a bridge to get across the river because we are smart and we know how to do stuff by the skills of our own hands and fingers. Next up on the to-do list is to get the new beams to where the old beams are. These beams were made by Chief El Capitano there with the white hair. His name is Dave. He has the most knowledge and knows the most stuff. He glued all these pressure treated 2x6s together, put them in a form, and let it sit. Quick one. They're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now one of the things that can happen when you're dragging stuff through the bush like this, it can stretch, it can expand, it can start to come apart and ultimately get destroyed. So we had to build a little bit of bracing so that doesn't happen. That way as we drag it through the trees and you got stuff pushing on it, and prying on it, pulling on it, it doesn't all come apart and you're not losing structural integrity in the beams. All right, current status of everything. Oats is pulling the Honda. Is that a Honda? What is it? Yeah, it's a Honda. And then we're uh, we're manhandling it. Bring it to Cena Cool. All right. So using the power 
of manpower. Two quads hooked up and a chainsaw. Cut it all apart. And then drag it through the bush. Good. both beams here now it's time to eat lunch i'm excited i'm hungry and everyone keeps making fun of me for making videos all the time Ooh, you're a cameraman caleb just so you know <laughs> there was a really good throw <laughs> Using this quad here, we're pulling that beam this way, and then that quad, and then there's another quad over there, and they're holding it up, pulling it this this way, and then you got that guy there, right there. They're holding a line so that it doesn't go too far, and we can hold it that way. And now it's all perfectly balanced, and now we gotta secure it, and then we got another one over there we gotta do. And then the kids are having a time of their life. So are the dogs. now putting the cross braces in I'm the guy that's the most helpful because I'm holding all of the cameras and charging all the stuff and they're like oh why did you do any work I'm like I'm probably working harder than everybody because I have to operate four cameras at one time and sort of help stuff it's all coming together it's looking real good uh, we put the braces in the middle now so that it doesn't topple over then all these boards here like this that continues on going up up over top and then we can drive on it Maybe. Probably gonna wait a little bit to drive on it. But that's uh, that's what the bridge is looking like so far. It's looking good. We're, we're having a great day. I don't think that's coming out without a winch. At least the wood is dry. Everyone likes a good dry wood. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that just went swimming. Well, let's get out of here. This is getting messy. I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to do this without a camera because I need two hands. It's 
just how it works. Okay, I have unstepped myself from the hole. Let's uh, let's see if we can avoid doing that again. This is so much fun. I love doing this. This is the very blue collar thing. You get your wood and a sled, and you bring it all the way over there. But well, first, you have to go through this. This is going to be fun. Ready? running out of daylight, so I gotta go help them screw all the boards on. Uh, we got the beams up, we got all the boards going across. See, they're gonna yell all sorts of profanity now, I bet. It's probably what they're gonna do. Anyways, thanks Oats Canada for lending me that Pathcross 850. The thing's a unit, all the power I need. It's got a winch on it. I broke through the ice a bunch of times, as you saw. Winched myself right out, it was pulling all, it was pulling all the other machines out. Uh, it's a unit, man. That thing's Solid machine, I'm, uh, I'm liking it quite a lot. I've been a Can-Am guy my whole life. This is pretty good, not gonna lie, they're, uh, they're putting up a, a strong fight. They're, uh, I'm, I'm getting convinced. Anyways, thanks for watching this one on how to build a bridge. This is the blue collar life, it is a good life, and I like it, I like blue collar. I like you, go make somebody smile. Towers during the night stuff. Plus like the four wheel drive suspension is really good too. And I love the catalytic converter and the no leak oil blinkers. <laughs> That's my favorite. My favorite part is blink. <laughs> LED <My> blinkers. <laughs> We're at the point of the day where all my batteries are dead and my memory cards are full and everything except my phone, so I have to film on a phone. We're basically done building a bridge for the day because it's starting to get dark outside. So now on this machine here, oh, the old, uh, the path cross, 850. Now I can just go play. Try not to get stuck in the mud.